Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. I'm actually going to come at you from Exodus chapter 3 tonight. I'm going back because, as I've shared in a previous video, I actually write out um, two Bible verses a day. I plan on having the entire Bible handwritten out by the end of my life, and I do that because in the book of Deuteronomy, it talks about the duty of kings being to write out their own copy of the Word of God. And I want to be a king in the kingdom of God. And I feel like that's a kind of a personal commission from the Lord to me. Like, if I want it, I need to strive for it. So, with that being said, I was writing down verses 5 and 6 in Exodus chapter 3. And something powerful hit me. Let me go ahead and read those. Then he said, Do not draw near this place. Take your sandals off your feet, for the place where you stand is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. And it dawned on me as I was reading this, Moses is the guy who um, God said he speaks with me face to face. And he literally saw God's back, and his face literally glowed as you read over the rest of the Pentateuch. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, the first five books of the Bible. The books of Moses, the law of Moses. Moses is a dude who got to know God pretty much better than anyone else in the Old Testament. Enoch and Elijah may be exceptions because they, since they were literally raptured up to heaven without death. But Moses still got pretty darn close. Arguably closer. Not getting into that debate. But his beginning, God said, do not draw near this place. And eventually God would say, I speak with him face to face. Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. And eventually, he said, God, show me your glory. What an amazing transition. Moses started here. He ended up there. And like I said in a previous Sunday sermon, the new covenant that we have, we're all greater than Moses. We with a, the, the veil is removed in Christ. The veil from Moses' face. The veil separating the most holy place and the Ark of the Covenant from the views of everyone but the high priest once a year. That veil is torn in Christ. We start where Moses finished in the new covenant. It's such a great covenant. It's such a better covenant. We get to start where Moses finished. And even Moses, as great as he was, had incredibly humble beginnings. So be encouraged. Guys, there is so much in store for us who know Jesus if we will continue to press in and continue to seek Him. There is so much of God that we can have. We start where Moses finished. And that's awesome. I love you guys. God bless.